have both of our images open, we have the image we're going to edit and the image we're going to be pulling the wheels from. The first step is to select the body and the background of the image we're going to edit. To do that, we're going to use the quick selection tool. But we're going to select the body and the background, just a rough selection. Then we're going to clean it up in quick mask mode. So again, just start off with a rough selection. So we're going to select that, then clean it up a little bit. Now we're going to open quick mask mode. To do that, you just press this button. And to edit in quick mask, you have the brush tool. And black will add mask, and white will ma take mask away. So we're going to go to these edges, and we're going to clean them up a little bit. First, removing mask, covering this bumper here. We're just going to clean this edge up. And any other parts where the mask is where it shouldn't be. This door. And right here on the front. To switch back at a quick mask mode, just click this button again. And there you see we have the selection. And we're going to take this selection and make it into a new layer using the layer via cut and that will put the body and background into a separate layer from the wheels. The next step is to select the wheels from the other image and we're going to place them on top of this image. So to do that, again, we're going to just use quick selection and just select the wheels roughly. Then pull them into quick mask mode to clean up the selections. Just clean it up a little bit. You're going to want to select around the top of the tire and get as much of the tread as possible. Okay, that looks good. We're going to switch back to selection mode and we're going to copy our selection, create a new layer on our original image in between the body and the wheels and we're going to paste this image over the background image. I'm just going to apply some simple transformations here. I'm holding shift to keep the proportions of the image the same. And we're just going to bring it down, position it to where it looks looks believable. We're going to apply that. And to fix the angle a little more, we're going to go to transform and distort and just fix up the angle to make it look a little more real. Alright, that looks good. Maybe just a little of that. Alright, now I'm going to do the same for the back wheel and then I'll be back. Okay, now that we have both wheels in place, you can see we're missing some tread from the back wheel and the front wheel. We're going to fill these areas in. To do this, we're going to zoom in, select the layer that the wheel is on that we're going to edit and we're going to use the clone stamp tool to fill in tread. To do this you just press alt on the part where the tread is and click Then you move to the area where you want to add tread and it will move the pixels from the area you selected to where you're currently painting and this will give the appearance of a wider front tire and we're going to edit the back as well select the layer that tire is on again using the clone stamp tool just select the area where the pixels are and fill it in now that we have the tires filled in and looking more realistic we're going to select the layer that the body and background is on and we're going to lower it onto the wheels to make the car look lower to do this lower the image and you may have to apply some rotation and stretching in order to give it the proper look. So we're going to rotate it slightly this way. And that looks pretty good there. So we're going to apply that transformation. Now as you can see the body slightly overlaps the rear wheel here. So we're going to have to fix that. To do this I like to set the opacity of the body lower 
so I can see the wheel through the body. Once I can see the wheel through the body, I take the eraser and just slightly erase the body and then smooth the edges. This gives the look of the body going behind the tire, which makes the image look more realistic.